A second game on Judgment Day under the closed roof at the Millennium Stadium saw Dragons take on Ospreys. A must-win game for Steve Tandy's men who started the day fifth in the table and chasing a place in the playoffs. Dragons coach Lynn Jones made wholesale changes after a disappointing defeat at Treviso last time, his side without a win in their last five league matches. And it was Ospreys who looked most likely to score early on. In the fifth minute, they launched a dangerous-looking attack with Dragons defending with all their might. When it came to Richard Fussell, he ran in for what they thought was the first try of the game. But when the TMO was called into action, Tom Haberfield's knock-on was spotted and the score was disallowed. Approaching the midway point in the first half, Ospreys again attacked with intent and once more came close to breaking the deadlock. When they picked out Dan Baker, he made a dart for the line, but unfortunately for him, he knocked the ball on as he dived forward and the opportunity was lost. In what was proving to be a very tight affair, Dragons were on the attack in the 33rd minute. Osprey's second row, Ryan Jones, deliberately killed the ball and killed the opposition's momentum. Referee Nigel Owens didn't hesitate in producing a yellow card for the vastly experienced Welsh international. Remarkably, at the end of the first 40 minutes, it remained scoreless as they went in at the break. The deadlock was finally broken in the 46th minute. Fullback Hallam Amos with a deft offload. Tyler Morgan and Corey Hill involved before scrum half Richie Reese was away for the try. A wonderful score for Lynn Jones' side and at last some points on the scoreboard. Burton converted and Dragons were 7-0 ahead. That lead was reduced in the 53rd minute. Dragon sub Nick Cudd fell foul of the ref for handling the ball on the ground. Mr Owens in no doubt. Nick, come here. You knew exactly what to do when you kept your hand on the ball and you slowed the quick ball down, same as Adrian. Off you go, please. It's not acceptable. You knew exactly what you were doing. From the penalty that followed, Dan Bigger notched Osprey's first points of the encounter and it was back to 7 3. Shortly after that, Steve Tandy's men edged in front. Once again, they were putting tremendous pressure on the Dragons' defence. This time, Haberfield made the sniping dive for the line, just getting the touchdown for his side's first try of the evening. Bigger converted, and suddenly Ospreys were ten points to seven ahead. Almost immediately, Osprey's Jonathan Spratt was in trouble with officialdom. The centre picked up a yellow card for that deliberate knock-on. <laughs> Tom Pridey landed the penalty, and the sides were level once more, ten points apiece, with just over a quarter of an hour to go. However, Osprey's were back in front ten minutes from time when Bigger's kick found the target for 13 points to ten. Late on as Ospreys attacked, Dragon centre Tyler Morgan became the fourth player to receive a yellow card. The centre in trouble for lying on the ball. Nigel Owens losing patience with the persistent offending. Off you go. Lie on it with no effort whatsoever all the way. And the referee's patience was stretched to the limit moments later when the Dragon scrum deliberately and illegally killed Ospreys momentum. The referee running under the post to award a penalty try with just a couple of minutes remaining. Bigger converted and suddenly it was double scores, 20 points to 10 in favour of Ospreys. And that's how it finished, a vital win for Ospreys in their quest for a place in the playoffs. They keep the pressure on Glasgow and Ulster just above them. That's six league games without a win now for Dragons, but Lynn Jones will probably be happier with the way his side fought in this one, with another derby match to come against Scarlets next time out. Final score, Newport Gwent Dragons 10, Ospreys 20.